The Channel Mom Show, celebrating you with Jenny Dean Schmidt. Brought to you by Earth Balance, a natural food brand that makes a mom's life more delicious. Earth Balance produces a tasty line of buttery spreads, nut butters, soy milk, mayo, and more, allowing you and your family to enjoy your favorite foods healthfully and allergy free. It's all at earthbalancenatural.com. Every good mom wants her children to be healthy, but mom needs to be healthy too. That's why Channel Mom is here to help with Healthy Mom, Happy Family, featuring health-boosting advice from certified nutritionist Julie Hammerstein. Brought to you by delicious and mom-friendly Earth Balance. Yay, that's Woo! our new open. Woohoo! Julie in Yay! the house. We're excited about this because it is true. Healthy Mom, Happy Family. Yes, indeed. If mom doesn't feel good, it's, it's tough on the rest of the family. Yeah, because she's running the house exactly. and it all filters down. Exactly. And Julie, every time I talk to her on the phone, she tells me something. I think, oh my gosh, I got to go do that. <laughs> I got to go buy that. So I want I'm to- I'm spying on you. <laughs> yeah, you, you would have been very ashamed of me yesterday. I <laughs> almost reached for Cheetos and Dr. Pepper, but I did not do reach for the Cheetos. I did reach for half a can of Dr. Pepper. Hey, I know that's your woe food. You don't do it all the time. Exactly. So I know. I'm good I know. All righty. So this is Healthy Mom, Happy Family. And uh, it is brought to us by our new sponsors, Earth Balance. We're really excited about them. And uh, we're excited about the information you have to share with us today. You're doing this ABC thing because yep. we're back to school and you, you decided to incorporate ABCs. But I want to remind moms, the reason that you're going to put your tips today in ABC form mm -hmm. is it can be a memory tool. Yeah. They can go back to that. What was A? What was B? What was C? And you're going to do that today. So, so why don't you tell us, just as we start out, uh, what are the ABCs that you're bringing to moms today as they head back to school, as their kids head back to school, as the house becomes a little more chaotic, mm -hmm. potentially, and how to be really organized with how to keep themselves and their kids healthy? Healthy. Well, and I also call them ABCs because they're just so fundamental, right? We think of ABC as being just so true and core. And the tips I'm going to offer today are exactly that. So the first one is A for always eat breakfast. Always eat breakfast, always eat breakfast. I cannot stress it enough. And I know that you hear you're supposed to do that, but a lot of times we don't know why. So that's a whole nother segment. So I'm just going to say eating breakfast impacts everything from heart health to your protection against cancer to mediating inflammation to balancing your hormones to keeping your neurotransmitters healthy to balancing your weight. I mean, it impacts every physiological process in your body. Yeah. So not only us, you know, when we hear that, we think, okay, I want to be healthy, but think of your kids. And we always think, oh, send them to school with breakfast so that they can think better. Yes. And all those physiological processes that start breaking down happen now. They happen when they're young. Mm -hmm. And so you can start building their health every single day just by giving them a little something Correct. and yourself to really start your metabolism, but really to impact all of those things in your body that function with fuel first thing in the morning. Yeah. I think some moms think they're being good and they're dieting. And I think maybe I had this attitude in college. If you don't eat breakfast, that's one meal you've cut out. Right. So you're going to lose weight or whatever. But actually that backfires on you. If anything, people who don't eat breakfast can gain weight. Absolutely. At study after study shows that. I see it all the time. And so, you know, the, then the conversation is, well, I'm not hungry. I don't like bref breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. Yeah. Well, become one because that's just a story that's never going to support you. My, my son says that. I wish you could stand in my son's bedroom in the mornings with a spatula <laughs> and hit him over the head because he, he, he refuses. And yeah. it would be so much better. And then he's starving, right. you know, because he's a football player. By the time he's, you know, after football, he wants to eat for, for, you know, hours when he gets home. Right. So challenge him for two weeks. Say, you know what? Do it for two weeks and then I'll never bug you again. But okay. here's some easy things. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be huge. It can be something like a whole grain waffle with peanut butter, or almond butter. I love, love, love the new Earth Balance product. It is a natural almond butter or you can do the peanut butter with the coconut. Oh and my so, gosh, I, I so want to taste that. Because that's kooky good. Kooky good. Kooky it is good. so yummy. It's the Earth Balance coconut and peanut spread, which I think you can get like at King Supers and yep. and even Safeway and I mean I think your I, mainstream grocery stores. Yeah. I got this at Whole Foods, but you know the, it's available everywhere because it is a you know a pretty mainstream product. Now they're plant based. They don't have any hydrogenated fats. They don't have any artificial sweeteners. In fact, it's sweetened with agave. So it's a nice way to get kids to like breakfast food. Absolutely. And the other thing I want to say, I know so many parents now, Shell, and you know this too, because you've had to feed kids at your house, dealing with gluten allergies, dealing with, with um, peanut candida, mm -hmm. peanut allergies. And, and the stuff that Earth Balance makes, 
is almost allergy free. Like, I mean, there's hardly anything in it except, of course, the nuts. Right. Uh, that that triggers those allergies. Right. And so, you know, look for their breakfast friendly foods because they've got a ton. Um, you can also do something as simple as yogurt and some fruit. You know, I love the kind products. It puts a little bit of healthy grains on there. You know, do a smoothie. I'll, I'll do a smoothie. This is, um, I use the Earth Balance soy milk, some protein powder, some fruit. I shake it up in uh, a ma- magic bullet and take it with me. Okay. Super easy. I mean, these things literally, I think all of this this morning took me less than 10 minutes. And that was three different breakfasts. Three different, different breakfasts. Okay. Just pulling it together. Good to know. So that's A. Always right. eat breakfast. What's B? B, balance your plate. So here is a good visual. If you go to my plate or choose myplate.gov, yep. the um, USDA now is, rather than the food pyramid, which was too confusing, is giving us our balanced plate. Half the plate is fruits and vegetables. I know, and I made fun of that a couple weeks ago. You did? Yes, because it was something like the estimate was that you should eat 10 to 13 fruits and vegetables a day. And I thought, there is no way I'm stuffing 10 to 13 fruits and vegetables in my body. Yeah. But it is good to know that if you're doing a plate, the steak's on one half and the rest should be fruits and vegetables. Yeah, so you have actually the, the other half is broken up into two quadrants. Mm-hmm. So you have your healthy grains there. You have healthy lean protein, which can be animal protein or plant-based protein, mm-hmm. i.e. tofu or beans or things like that. And then half your, the rest of your plate, fruits and vegetables. Now, considering that I recommend people eat anywhere from four, five, four to five times a day, yeah. you know, every three to four hours, if you're doing half your plate, fruits and vegetables, four to five times a day, I bet you could get close to nine servings of fruits and, and vegetables. And if you're not eating Tito's? You're yeah. going to be hungry on, for something else. <laughs> yeah. Replace it <laughs> yes, right. with one of those so other green things. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a mindset. It's it's getting into the habit. So, you know, start with five because most people don't even get two. Right. I know. I so know. Balance, but but th- this, so balancing your plate then leads to the third okay. letter, which is C. And that is that carbs are good. Like you, you know, there's so much fear around carbohydrates. Yes. And so let me tell you what those are because yes, a lot of times people listen. think carbs is bread and pasta. And yes, carbohydrates are grain-based foods yeah. that come from the ground, um, but it's also fruits and vegetables. It's also, you know, great sources of starchy vegetables like potatoes and yams. And I'm just here to say bananas are not bad. Right. Yeah, so they're yeah. a little bit higher in sugar where there are starch or carbohydrates are a little bit higher in starch. But if you're not eating, drinking soda, eating candy, you know, overloading on pasta, you can eat those foods. Again, look at the balanced plate. Have it be a quarter of your plate and choose whole foods. So less processed carbohydrates. It's okay to do quinoa and brown rice and to have um, some of the starchier potatoes. Okay, and now like the, that and that there. scares people when they hear quinoa and they mm-hmm. hear brown rice because right. I think probably two thirds of America doesn't do that. Right. So can you give them some carbs? Because I'm sure moms are going to be thrilled this morning to wake up and hear that they can eat carbs. Yeah. Um, can you give them some carbs that, that might be a little bit more typical to the average American yeah. that are okay for them? So choose a wheat bread or even look, there are varieties that aren't, you know, loaded with nuts and seeds and so high fiber that you, you know, it's too brown for you to even put in your basket. But there are gradients of that. So yeah. if you're eating white bread now, just go to the next gradient. That's a love little it. bit See, higher. Now that's what I love about you, Julie. You can meet people halfway. You don't just say, okay, all you can eat for the rest of your life is quinoa. <laughs> it's Ezekiel um, bread. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ezekiel bread, which I actually love, by the way. It is good. Some um, people. So, could, okay. So one thing they can eat is just start on the, the lightest wheat you can find and right. then move up from right. there. And then even even your whole grain pastas, like your your wheat pastas. Interestingly, I work with a lot of mainstream people who come to me and they're like, I don't even know how, know how to grocery shop, so let's start there. Yeah. And I will sh- tell them to eat the whole wheat pizza, and they are not pizza, but pasta. They bring that home, and their family does not even know the difference. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, again, start with the gradients. Okay, and then potatoes, which I know a lot of people like potatoes, and they feel like they've got to give them up. And I'm just going to do my own little shout-out. I've been eating the Earth Balance uh, uh, co- coconut spread, their or- their organic coconut spread. Mm-hmm. You could put that on a potato, could you not? And yeah. be okay, right? Or even a piece of whole grain toast or something like that. Absolutely, because people get afraid of the fats too. So we could, you know, talk about all the macronutrients, but fats, we're going to talk about fats uh, sometime soon because yeah. there are people are freaked about carbs and fats, and, and in fact, our body needs both of those things. All of them, balanced plate, balanced plate. Carbs are good, you know. So okay. start th- putting that into your memory, but also to watch your portions. And choose the ones that are less processed. Watch your plate size. And watch your plate size. Yeah, exactly. Like really? balanced plate. 
Gotta if you're a small a woman, bit. you should probably have a smaller plate than yeah. your large husband. Right. Yeah, that's right. I'm five nine, so I'm I. You I get a bigger plate. I get a bigger plate. And when I do, like when I tell people with portions around carbs, especially pasta, rice. Okay, so let's say it's even white rice, um, or oatmeal. What you can hold in a cupped hand, not a closed fist, but a cupped hand, is yeah. your serving. That can be your serving of for, all for, those of, of everything of of pasta of oh okay because of I, rice of oats. They went through this ridiculous phase, and we only have about a minute left, Julie. I just want to warn you of that where they said that you could only eat a fist for for every meal, a fist total. Oh, total. And I thought who who does that? Yeah, no, that's not true. I mean, you can use your fist for like this would be your the portion. size of your potato. Or your fruit. Okay, right? but, but that's one serving of, of one of the four things you're having in your meal. Yes. Okay, that makes so much more sense. I, there is no way I'm yeah, going to have no one wonder we're all for failing. lunch. <laughs> um, okay, last little thing. I just want to repeat to people, the ABCs, always eat breakfast. It's going to make you lose weight if you, if you try to do that consistently, a healthy breakfast. B, balance your plate, and they right. can go to choosemyplate.gov. Yep. Um, and three, carbs are good. Yay. Okay, any l last tip here in the last, you know, 40, 50 seconds that you have? I think, you know, also just really try, I always say, put something on your plate that has ingredients that you can see and pronounce. Again, why I like the Kind products and all the ones I have here. You know what these are. So every time you eat, just put something fresh on your plate, right? So fruit or vegetable, nuts, something like that, so that you, that's, again, the progress towards eating a more whole foods diet, just get one on your plate every day. And that's one reason we had Earth, invited Earth Balance to sponsor this is because they're plant-based. Right. And so that's, and that that's where the nutrition that. is. That's for us, those phytonutrients, those plant chemicals that are found in our plant foods are what speak to our body. That's okay. really the programming that makes our, our body function optimally. Wonderful. Julie, you're always full of fabulous information. Could you just come live at my house for about a month? I'm going to come in with the spatula <laughs> in your son's bedroom and <laughs> wake him up. She's helpful to you, isn't she, Shelly? She's very helpful. Yeah, Good. absolutely. Well, that was it. Our Healthy Mom, Happy Family, and we hope that we've helped moms be a little healthy, healthier today and their families will be happier. So thanks so much for being with us today, Julie. Thank you.